when you train the mind to stay in one place, you're looking after what is the most important part of your life, because all your decisions come out of the mind. If the mind is well rested, if a feeling of solidity and well-being inside, then you're a lot more likely to shape your life in a good way. If you're feeling irritable or threatened or fearful, that's when you tend to do unskillful things. And we see this all around us. They want to whip people up into a frenzy, or they get them afraid of something, and then they go out and have them kill or whatever. And then after the frenzy is all over, they stop and ask themselves, what was that all about? How did that happen? It was because they were identifying with parts of themselves that were fearful and felt threatened. But if you realize, okay, your breath is your breath. The way you feel the body from inside, that's something that's totally yours. Okay, you can be in charge of that. Other people can inflict pain on the body. But your sense of knowing where in the body you can stay to feel at ease, that's yours. And as we focus on the breath, we begin to realize there are lots of parts of the body that are starved of breath energy, that aren't getting to breathe well, or that cut off from other parts of the body. Well, you can put those parts together. You can connect them. So you can create a sense of well-being that comes from within. This is why the Buddha has his focus, all our attention on what we're doing, because what we're doing is shaping our lives. But it's also shaping what energy we have left over to help other people. If you're constantly caught up in dealing with all kinds of messes inside, then you don't have any energy for other people. But if you take care of the messes, okay, then you've got some extra energy left over, and then you can be of help. You can be, in the meantime, you can be a good example to other people as well. As the Buddha said, one of the best things you can do for someone else is to convince them that they should behave in a skillful way too. Because people are not just on the receiving end of things outside, they're also active agents. And the actions they do are going to create their lives now and on in the future. And one of the best ways to get them to do that well is to do your own life well, to be as skillful as you can. So when you're concerned about the well-being of others, you have to look inside to make sure that you're not adding to their suffering. And you also look inside to see where you can find the strength to do what you need to do. Take care of your own needs, take and be a good example, and be helpful to them when you can, when you have the extra energy. That way the benefits of the practice spread all around. In other words, when the Buddha has you look after yourself, he's not telling you to be selfish. He's just telling you to start at the right place. Start in the area where you do have some control, where you are responsible, and then let your goodness spread out from there. <laughs>